Before I became a teacher, I substituted for an entire year. Before I went to San Diego State and got my teaching credential, I spent a year substituting. I substituted every single school in the district. Because I lived so close to Valhalla, Valhalla began to depend on me to cover classes, and I saw how kids behave when a substitute is in the room. And I think some of you know exactly what I'm talking about. So that was the reason for yesterday's video. And I had conversations with certain students. And in some cases, they were rather abrupt. And I had to make myself absolutely clear beyond a shadow of a doubt that I'm dead on serious because I was in classrooms where kids behaved like Lord of the Flies, you know? wild animals. I am going to be gone right now. This is green. I'm recording this the night before, but look at this week 35, 36, 37, and then 38 is finals. Add it all up. It's about a month, four weeks. If I don't get back for finals, what do you think would happen if I allowed this class to deteriorate? What would that substitute have to endure? What would your classmates, the ones who actually want to learn? So that's the reason I came down hard um, on some kids, and I just want to make things clear. I'm going to do it today, Monday and Tuesday, to some others. I want to reinforce this, that you should know what to do, and you should be on your best behavior and you should be doing your best work. We're at the end of the school year. This is where you put all your skills together and you do something amazing. I mean, that's the whole point. Come on. Okay, the quote of the day. I love this, man. From Jane McGonigal's Reality is Broken. What a great title for a book. Uh, she's a game researcher and she wrote a book about how games can make the world a better place. And this I became exposed to during my uh, master's degree when I first decided to gamify the classroom. And Nick Yee, this guy, a researcher, um, was the first person to receive a PhD for studying WoW. Um, I love this, that computers were made to work for us, but video games have become, have come to demand we work for them. Now, this is true, but of course, we are really the ones asking to have more work. We want to be given more work, or rather, we want to be given more satisfying work. That's part of the reason why I believe gamification and finally AI is becoming closer and closer. And the idea that a student-centered, self-paced, gamified, flexible, individualized learning system can help all of you become as, as engaged as possible. That's my dream. I'm working towards this. And the reason this is up, because some students asked me yesterday about what game I'm playing and what are you playing now? And we started talking and started talking about game consoles and PS5 versus uh, Xbox. And, um, and I started thinking about this is No Man's Sky Guide, and all kinds of categories, all, each one of these it, you know, has all kinds of information in it. You notice there are other headings up here that have to do with your journey through No Man's Sky. Let's switch over here to Photoshop so I can show you. These are screenshots. There's the guide. I'm going to turn that off, and um, you notice that every one of these layers is named. This is all organized. This is part of my research into how to use No Man's Sky, how to use our mechanics, because we literally can do most of this stuff. You know, the graphics have to be handmade uh, inside our system, but there are so many opportunities to do so many cool things. And then COVID hit and everything broke. You talk about reality being broken, school is broken. And we need to tame the feral kids and bring them back into the civilized classroom where learning can happen and amazing things can happen. I want you guys to think about your future. Believe it or not, education, every single one of your class, oh, history does, history matters. It all matters. You'll come to understand that later in life. 
unless you grow to be ignorant and just want to complain about everything. If you want to grow and become better, you'll understand that everything's interconnected. And I want you guys to understand that I want you to succeed. So I want you to have satisfying work, and that satisfying work should revolve around the Adobe tools that you're using to create amazing things, except for a few of you who are writing code or doing 3D, but you know what I'm talking about. I want to see the best work you produced all year long over the next four weeks. And like I've told you, I will be in touch with you all the way through the end of the journey. And yes, if I click out here, yes, my reader, I have not touched this in two weeks. This is going to jump up another, what, 140 you know, entries every week. Yeah, after my surgery, I'll spend some time looking individually at your work and try to provide, you know, some warning to some of you who are off the path and, you know, some thanks to the rest of you who are doing a good job. Anyway, long video for Friday. I want you to succeed, but I want you to understand, man, you're going to be on your own for a long time. That sub has uh, the VP behind her back because I met with the VPs. We came to an understanding that bad behaved students in the Mac lab are going to face consequences from the VPs, not the sub. Sub's just going to pick up the phone and call Oscar, and he's going to take you upstairs. But the rest of you, man, enjoy, create, and this weekend, do something to make the world a better place, huh?